Hey guys, just like to say happy Christmas to everybody. Um, I just want to do a quick video, it's only going to be two or three minutes long, and it, it's on um, creating slow motion with your DSLR. Now, one thing that you're best doing is if you're from the UK, is to set your camera in NTSC in the settings. That will then enable you to be able to record at 720p at 1280 it'd be 720 at 60 frames per second. If you've got a better camera, I'm on about 600D here. If you've got a better camera, then use a quicker show speed. Use the, not a quicker show speed, a quicker frames. The fastest that mine will do, my T3i or 600D, it'll do 1280 at 720 at 60 frames per second in NTSC. Now, the reason why you want to record it at as high a frame rate as you can is so when you slow it down, you don't get choppy footage. Anyway, I'll just quickly slow, slow. I'll just quickly show you some footage. Uh, video slow, and I'm going to use 755. If you watch this take that I did yesterday, and that's the take. Okay, so we're going to use that to slow down. So. I know that that was recorded at 1280 with 720 at 60 frames per second. So what a lot of people do when they're importing it into Adobe Premiere is they don't set the settings correct. I'll just hit yes. They don't set the settings correct when they import it. Some people actually choose 1080p at 60 frames per second, but that's upscaling the video. So ideally if you stick to what you recorded it at which was 720p at 60 frames this is what we actually recorded it at so we're going to import it the same so basically our sequence will match any footage that i import so if i look at the sequence now it's 1280 by 720 at 59.94 frames now that's just my sequence now i'm going to get my video i'm going to import that in and if we no, 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 no. I never clicked no folder. I clicked that. That, okay. So if we look at here, 1280 by 720 at 59.4 frames. So the sequence matches the video. Now, loads of people do slow motion different ways. Now, I'm going to slow this down, and I think it looks superb, to 10 frames a second. So if I go to, prod, uh, to edit, duplicate, because I want to duplicate my clip. Now all I've got to do here to slow it down is, right click, and let me just uh, open in source model. So if we watch the clip, let's just watch it. Bang, right, that's the clip. Okay, if we now right click, modify, interpret footage, and I just knock this down to 10 frames, and then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just bring this back, drag this slider along. Just play it. And I'll just go down. Just knock it back to there. Set that as the in point. Drag it along. Boom, 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 boom. Set that as the out point. Now I can drag this into the timeline. Now it's going to play on the right hand side. Just watch this. 10 frames a second. Look how smooth and nice that is. That's from 60 frames. And that's Adobe Premiere. No messing about. Just a right click. Interpret footage and change it to 10 seconds. Now let me just, for the laugh, I will go back in and interpret footage and this time I'm going to try five frames which is pretty damn slow but let's go try that right hand side right okay that sounds me right for doing that just hang on let me just set my point and my end point again I don't know why it does that sometimes, but there's my in point, and there's my out point, okay, yeah, now, now, I mean, even there, 
I mean, it's still smooth, look. It's a little bit jerky at five frames, but it's still acceptable. But from 60 frames to 10 is good enough. Let's rewind that back again. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit steppy at five frames. And as you can see, I'd just like to show you something. Can you see how it's blurred? That's because it, it, in on the, the original clip, if we just click the original clip, which is this one here. Oh, hang on. Let's click that. I'm just put this down into the timeline. Three, two, yeah. What what you need to make sure of is when you when you're recording the footage, it's because I chose the wrong shutter speed. I was at something like sixtieth of a second. So what you need to be doing as a good starting point is. If you are recording at 60 frames per second, you need to double your shutter speed. So remember that. If you're recording at 24 frames a second, you want a minimum of 50th of a second. If you are recording at 30 frames per second, you want a minimum shutter speed of 60th of a second. And if you are recording at 60 frames a second, you want a minimum shutter speed of 1 2 fifth. Now, I had a slow shutter speed. I think my ISO was at 1600 and I was at F. 5, 6 or something, um, so I need to actually record this footage again, um, but to stop this bit of motion blur that I'm getting from my actual sun, I need a faster shutter speed, now the shutter speed, that's the basics that I've gave you, and it would have made that clip quite a bit better, but you might even be able to go a lot faster than that, what you're best doing is when you do your clip, if you're ever going to do this, is tr try different shutter speeds, record it 20 times, um, what you'll find out is when your shutter speed gets beyond what what your cameras, I mean it'll record at any shutter speed, but you'll notice that when you watch the video back in normal motion, it'll be steppy, it'll slightly be steppy. So, you know, um, I might do another video on roughly, I mean it, I suppose it depends how quick your subject's moving, but a good starting point is if you're 60 frames, 1 2 fifth of a second is your shutter speed, the minimum that you should use. Um, and that, and then maybe try one at 200 and 250 and 400 and 800 and stuff like that. Anyway, there's my little tip. Thanks for watching. I'm probably going to do a couple more videos on Adobe Premiere Pro for anybody who does videoing. Thank you very much.